what is up guys the way, I want to welcome all my new subscribers probably my biggest day on YouTube yet happened over this past weekend special thanks to 650e for reposting that video I want to welcome all you guys new to the channel and I appreciate you guys staying just give me a couple videos to uh, to get to know me get to learn my kind of video style and uh, hopefully you guys will like it <laughs> Kyle trying to do a stoppy over here today we are heading over to an amusement park that is no longer an amusement park here in Ohio called Geauga Lake but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little appreciation for showing up and subscribing to the channel they say once you get a huge spike in subscribers your next video needs to be an absolute killer so I'm gonna try to make it the best video that I can but it's gonna be my type of video it's not gonna be a different video just to make it special to try to keep you guys because what's the point of trying to keep you guys if that's not gonna be the content that I'm gonna provide so today I'm gonna try to make obviously the best video that I can but with that being said it is my style of video it's a destination a little bit of history on the place you know those are my style of videos out with a whole bunch of buddies like as you can see I've got R6 Obi here with me today we're gonna go pick up Brap and John we're gonna pick up speeding ticket mark you know we're gonna pick up all these guys and we're gonna go out and have a good time gonna get some drone footage gonna get some pictures pretty standard type of video for me so just hang on tight guys I'll be back once we get to the first destination unless something else interesting happens we have picked up John and we are heading to pick up Mark now at our next stop on the way to Geog Lake and I wanted to kind of give you guys a couple of details here on the park itself in case you guys aren't from the area and familiar with it. Joggle Lake what, did originally open in the 1800s in 1887. It was opened as like a picnic and, and just a good entertainment spot. They didn't start out with rides or anything like that. And then eventually, after a couple of years, he, had, he developed a, a, an urge to want to include more entertainment. So he added on some amusement park rides. In 1942, a tornado hit, injuring six people, destroying buildings, and damaging their iconic roller coaster called the Big Dipper. They estimated damages, they estimated for that was about $50,000 in damages in 1942. That's a ton of money in that time. But that would be nothing compared to what would happen to them a few years later. In 1952, 10 years later, a fire destroyed a bowling alley, a theater, and a dance hall, and a roller rink in 1952 because of a fire. Those estimated damages, they estimated to be a half a million dollars, $500,000. So the park continued to be a park until about 2000. When it was given an uplift, it was given $40 million by Geo uh, to Geauga Lake and it renamed as Six Flags uh, to kind of re re you know renovate and upgrade and add some new things because the park at that point had kind of slowly been dying. So Six Flags came in, gave them $40 million, renamed the park and added some new roller coasters. For about four to seven years after that, Six Flags was really in some financial trouble. They were considering selling the park and they weren't sure if they were going to or not. They were really running, so they started, instead of selling the park, they decided to start closing things down, limiting the amount of time that they were open, and trying to sell off some of their big roller coasters to try to stay, stay afloat. Until 2007, when they officially closed down and could no longer stay open and officially closed its doors. Since 2007, the park has been closed. And since 2007, for the last 10 years, the park has been up for sale, the land. I know a portion of it was recently purchased by Meyer, the grocery store company, and they were looking to put a 200,000 square foot uh, store there. And in the store, the residents of the township, which is Barnbridge Township, have requested that they make the Meyer have some historical resemblance for the Geauga Lake Amusement Park. So they're gonna, you know, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they're, uh, they've taken it into consideration and I think they're actually gonna pull forward and do that. So that's pretty cool that they're, uh, they're still trying to keep it going because it's, 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 it's kind of an iconic thing for the area. So we're gonna head up there. From what I know, Kaya was telling me, they've hired temporary security like uh, Rent-A-Cops to uh, just to make sure people aren't on the land and stuff since they've recently purchased it. And he's not 100% sure how close we're going to be able to get without the cops interrupting. And he said that they've actually 
heard a lot of stories recently where people have gotten trespassing tickets for being on the land. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us, but for the views, I'm going to try to get in there as close as we can, try to get the drone overhead, and we will go from there. But alrighty, I'm done boring you guys with the details. We are heading that direction to pick up Mark and then heading over to the park, and I will be back as soon as something interesting happens. Hang tight. Well, shit. That sucks. What do you want to do? Let's just go to that next one. Okay, well, Geauga Lake was a little bit of a fail. They pretty much got it completely blocked off. Everywhere you look, they say no trespassing. Private property. And we didn't really want to have another altercation with any police officers. So we decided to stay on the safe side and just kind of chill out outside and just fly the drone in. But fear not, this day still could be solved. The video can still be solved. We are heading up to the East 55th Marina. Hopefully to get some shots of the lake and and whatnot. Hopefully that'll be uh, some decent content as well. So give you a little bit of two a twofer in this video. We'll be there in about 20 miles. guys i apologize if the audio here sucks it is incredibly windy we are heading back from the 55th marina right now it is probably 30 mile an hour winds right now 20 20 to 30 mile an hour winds it is windy as all hell but we're trekking forward guys i really appreciate all the new subscribers if you're still here watching the video welcome to the channel i hope you enjoy the content Leave a comment. Let me know if you, you know, if you see anything that you know that I can improve on, uh, that you want to see specifically, or things that you just didn't like in this video. But as always, guys, thanks for, thanks again for supporting. Stay safe out there and keep that rubber side down. Enjoy the moment, and until the next video, we'll catch you guys later.